So we have to go to war with Ukraine here because it has access to aluminum, coal, oil, uh, or uranium. It also is going to give us a port in, in the Black Sea, which is which is good because, well, I I think I can get open borders through Turkey. Uh, Turkey is also a uh, a nation that's following autocracy, so that way I could get maybe access to the Mediterranean. We're probably about two or three more turns away, uh, but so we, we've, we've got some time. Oh, actually, we finished another artillery, so technically we don't really need to wait that long. Uh, again, I'm not going to use any of my bombs because why? You know what I mean? Like, why would I waste it on a, on a city state or anybody that's, like, not uh, a major, major power? So anyways, we, we should maybe consider building a few bomb shelters because I guarantee you we're going to get nuked. Uh, definitely Moscow should build a bomb shelter, but probably not this city. Um, too deep into Asia, right in the middle of Asia. I think we'll be, I think that'll be fine. Um, can you build me another artillery? Yeah, just go ahead and build me another, well, I would like to get more planes. I will say I'd like to get, build a few more planes. I, a jet bomber might be good. Yeah, range strength would be 80. Hmm, yeah, that would be pretty, pretty smart idea. Well, let's, let's continue to, uh, spam out artillery for now. Because they're, they're very good for defense also. I guess you can build me maybe a... I'm thinking a jet bomber. Yeah, yeah we've got the we've got some sources of oil still left, uh, and we should obtain a bit more. Okay, so you built you built the the windmill. You've got a bit more production. Uh, you, uh, yeah, you're okay. You're doing a little bit better. Oh my gosh, everyone just finished everything. Okay. See, so yeah, economic situation is gonna get better too. Let's have you build the armory because you're just in a tough spot. Um, you're in a pretty tough spot. Okay, so cargo ship. Where are we gonna send this to? Technically, we could go to well. Again, I feel safe. Well, I don't want to go to China, though. I was going to say, I feel, I feel safe going through Japanese lands, um, but I don't want to go to China anymore because I just, I just have too many. I can I, Honestly, I could probably trade with the USA. I'm not trying to go to... Yeah, you know what? We, we, whoa! Whoa! Salt Lake City's been nuked, and that was definitely um, from China because the... Well, actually, no, it might not have been. That could have been from North Korea, technically. And that would explain why so many people have, have wanted, to, wanted, wanted to go to war with Kim Jong-un. That is probably, I, I bet, I bet you that was North Korea, not China. Uh, because they have a nuclear missile. You have pretty crazy range with nuclear missiles. Let's go ahead and go to the USA, though, like I said. Um, wow, okay. Kim Jong-un had some balls, and, and he did it. Let's, let's check on the range. Technically, this is about this, the, the same distance. Yeah, that, that easily. Yeah, that was, that was probably him. That, would, that, that makes the most sense, honestly. Uh, it doesn't... It, it really does. Okay, so there we go. Uh, North Korea just bombed Salt Lake City. I'm, I apologize. Oh, and you know what? I think that... I don't think Barack Obama's going to let that go too lightly. Things are going to get pretty tough here. Okay, well, this is good. I mean, I'm not involved in this, like, huge war, this huge superpower war. War. It's only turn seven, and I'm just, I'm just chilling. Like, I'm just trying to do my best, relax. Oh, I have a great engineer. You know, we need to use this great engineer to probably build us another uh, nuclear missile at some point. I'm going to keep him there for now. We're not going to use him as a great tile improvement because I don't think this campaign is going to be that long in terms of turns. It'll take a while uh, series-wise because there's just so many units to, to navigate and stuff like that. Okay, let's send you all the way up north. We have range next turn. Uh, you guys stay there. Yep. Oh yeah, Ukraine knows what's coming. They they definitely realize I think what is gonna what's what's going on here. Okay, we do need to build a few more. I think uh, like an armories. I guess I, I'd like to get the two promotions right when we build them. Is pretty nice. So China playing against uh, Brazil. Why is everyone playing against Brazil? I I don't I don't get it. China's doing a stink attack against somebody. India is playing against uh, South Africa. I'm glad that it kind of lets me click on that. And uh, yes, the USA built the Apollo program, but that's fine. Everyone builds the Apollo program pretty f early on here. Uh-oh. Uh oh, oh, I'm, oh I'm, tr I'm trespassing. I thought that said somebody had allied to the Ukraine. I was like, oh my goodness, no, please. That'd be such a, that'd be so sad. Okay, so Taiwan, yep, that's what I thought. That is actually, no, Taiwan is not Taipei. Um, Taiwan is actually going to be... Where is Taiwan at? I so I apologize. My geography skills aren't entirely there still. Uh, still, still getting it up. I know it's in the Pacific, I believe. But uh, we'll 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 find it a little bit later. We'll stumble upon it a little bit later. Uh, also, the 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 only allies that are interesting so far uh, is is Australia and New Zealand. That's a pretty interesting one. And I, I think that it's to that point where, ooh, wait a second, look at that. The USA gave peace to North Korea. Well, that's probably because uh, North Korea has no units. 
Definitely. That's probably why. Okay. Again, we don't know. We don't know who was it. Who? I, I'm predicting it was North Korea, but it might not have been. Oh my gosh, there's just so much fallout here. Right in the very beginning. Who would have thought that that nuke was going to get set off so early on? Uh, yeah, I, I, I had no idea. Here, here, let me just, uh, just for the sake of things, Fiji, I do want to check where they are. Oh, wait a second. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, I, I'm, I had no idea. So Taipei is the city, Taiwan is the, is the country. My mistake. Okay, I was very confused because I was like, wait a second. Okay, my apologies. Okay, so this is, this is really bad for China, um, needless to say, because now you have an enemy bordering China. Wow, that was a, that was a very good pickup, though, for, for, for the USA. Very smart move. Okay, so let, let's, let's see. What, what can we do? We have a battleship coming in two turns, but do we really need to wait that long? I can attack right now, technically. And I obviously have a few, I think a few Air Force units, a jet bomber and uh, MIG-29 that could help me out. I, uh, no, I just don't think it's, yeah, one more turn. One more turn. He might declare war on me next turn because I, I'm getting a lot of, uh, there we go, Australia and New Zealand are allied. Are there, please don't tell me. I don't like allies. I don't like these allies. I'm also trespassing in the Philippines. Oh, oh yeah, we knew about that. Yeah, Manila's not happy about that. Uh, David Cameron plotting against uh, Mexico. Come on, guys. Is that necessary? China's built up the Apollo program. Okay. Uh, I just want to keep an eye on what's going on here because what happens to China here directly impacts me. You know, Salt Lake City getting nukes doesn't really do anything for me. You know what I mean? Uh, if if a whole bunch of nukes just dropped all across the USA right now, it doesn't do anything to me because at the end of the day, I still have to face so many foes if I were to declare war on one of them. I still have to face Canada, the UK, France, and and uh, and Germany, as well as any of their allies too. If they get up these city-state allies, that's why I've got to eliminate city-state allies right away. Uh, Japan has built up the uh, James Webb Space Telescope. So that's the scary thing, is that they would call in all of their allies. That's why I've got to eliminate city-states, and or else there's going to be a huge, huge uh, coalition that forms against me. So that's why I, I need to take... Someone like China... Taking out China early on would be smart. Right now, they have a huge military, and I don't think I... I mean, you're talking about... If I were to, I'm, I'm so expansive. If I went to war with China, it would be it would be kind of a stalemate. I think ultimately I'd win, but uh, no, Mexico. I don't want to go to war with North Korea. Uh, ultimately, I think I'd still take a few cities, but I would lose so many units in the process that probably somebody else would declare war on me, and then that would be it. Uh, I'm trying to take it slow. It's only turn eight. There's no rush. There's no rush at all. Uh, that's why I put this on Emperor difficulty. I don't think that I think the only thing that changes in difficulty is just how fast the AI is able to win the game. Uh, again, this is a scenario. This isn't really, I'm not really going for, the, I mean, if I, I'll go for the win. If I can go for the win, I will. Again, I have no idea what I'm going to do, but right now I just want to set this up to, for you guys that this is kind of a scenario more than anything else. Okay, so South Korea, it looks like is going to remain under control of China for a little bit. Um, can we get you, I can use Poland for a brief second and attack. Yeah, you know, I, I will. I'm going to use Polish territory. Okay, so now it's time to go to war with Ukraine. Let's do this. Uh, they're not allied to anybody, and they have access to so many strategic resources. We have got to do this. Let's do it right now. Wait a second. Under protection of South Africa, I guess I didn't even mention I didn't even see that they had uh, guaranteed their safety. Well, I guess we're going to war with South Africa. Hopefully nobody else. So we'll take them down, and then uh, let's make sure that we're not at war with anybody else. I'm worried about that. Well, actually, you know what? They, don't necessar they might not necessarily declare war on me. And I've got a big enough military where I don't think South Africa is going to want to step on my toes. I'm hoping not. Uh, but let's make sure that we take down Kiev and uh, eliminate Ukraine really quick. Okay, so we've got three range attacks. I can I can use a couple of the... Uh, no, I'm not using the nuclear missiles. Uh, I can use maybe a jet bomber. The jet bomber would be good at, for attacking a city. I don't really want to waste it on attacking the uh, mechanized infantry. Honestly, I will completely ignore the mechanized infantry. If I don't need to attack it, then I then I won't. I'll just go directly at the city. And actually, you know what? We could probably take it over right now. Um, now, this isn't a good unit to for attacking bonus versus bombers, air sweeping. It's more of like a fighter type era unit. So it probably isn't... Oh, it, it is okay damage. Okay, we might as well use it. Again, no one's defending Kiev. No air force is defending Kiev. Yeah, so we can, we can take out Ukraine uh, right away. Okay, so we are definitely kind of showing our muscles, but I'm pretty sure that... 
Uh, we're going to get denounced a few times, for sure. We're going to get denounced a few times. And let's go ahead and give everyone a chance. Actually, you know what? Let's give promotions to the land. You uh, no. Yeah, let's give you some extra experience for some possible pro promotions. And we'll walk in with the infantry, I'm thinking. And boom. All right. Bam, there goes the Ukraine, and we control a very nice uh, chunk now into Europe. Uh, we can easily move through Italian territory. We could technically go to go to war for Italy. Um, do they have anything for us? Not really. They didn't have all the resources that, obviously, Ukraine did. Okay, so uh, we finished up the artillery here. Let's go with some more armors, some armories, I mean. Uh, looks like they didn't even ask us to annex it or anything. That was interesting. I guess they don't need it, but I didn't get any, I didn't get much happiness, uh, unhappiness, I guess, from that. There we go. So let's build a nuclear missile in Moscow. We can never have too many nuclear missiles. And uh, let's find out. No, I, want to, I wanted to grab a hold of that great, en great engineer. We're probably going to have to move this guy out this way. Wait a second. What is that? Hold this. Wait, hold the phone. What is that? Oh, that's the Saudis. Moving through my territory to go to Sweden. Oh, I see how it is. You're not even trading with me, man. Okay, so let's rush this. Oh, wait a second. We can't. It consumes the great person. This order will... Why can't, I, why can't I rush this? Huh. Okay, well, we'll wait then. I guess we'll maybe rush something else. Okay, so we do have access to rocket artillery. Uh, but that's going to cost me a lot of money to upgrade all these things. I'm not going to do it yet. Yeah, we're not going to do it just yet. We'll put you out this way. Keep you on alerts and sleeping and stuff like that. Okay, uh, is there any buildings that are crucial? Windmill, I guess, kind of. I, I should build the Apollo program somewhere, I guess. I mean, hold on, let's, let's see if we can rush the Apollo program. We can't. Okay, I don't, I'm, not, I'm very confused. Do I want, I mean, I should build up the, the program, I guess. National College, oh, 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 we, we probably should have got that a while ago. Okay, well, who has, who's generating the most science and where I imagine Moscow is? St. Petersburg is actually doing a pretty good job, though. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to change this. Nuclear missile, no, I don't think so. We're going to build the National College much better. Uh, and I, I doubt I can rush this either. Oh, there we go. Oh, perfect. Oh, that's even better. That's so good. So can we build the uh, uh, 24 turns? That's too long. Now, I do need to worry about the Baltic Sea. I would like to build a lot of naval units here in the Baltic Sea. Um, they can help me attack in Sweden. I do want to take over Sweden. But we'll see. I don't know exactly what, what we're going to... Yeah, let, let's definitely get up a, a naval unit here. Preferably a battleship. Okay. Promote a unit. Let's uh, give you... There we go. There's two promotions for us. That's nice. And we'll have to wait and see exactly what what part of the world's not too happy with us. I imagine there's going to be a few. Uh, trespassing the Ukraine. Trespassing in twi Taiwan. Uh, India's playing against Mexico. Uh, China's doing a sneak attack, a naval sneak attack against somebody. China is also playing against, uh, oh, North Korea. All right, well, China might get access to a whole lot more land. They get might get access to the entirety of the Korean Peninsula, technically. Come on, USA, drop some nukes. I'm kind of rooting for it. I need you to. I need you to drop those nuclear missiles. You can do it. They're, they're playing very safely. Oh, what is this? And we have three more. Wow. Apollo program has been built up by Germany. So there's five total... Nuclear missiles just off the coast of Taipei, or Taiwan, and uh, and you're talking about five bombs technically going off, destroying a lot of units, a lot of units. If I can, I ally to Mongolia. Now Mongolia isn't like the best. Well, they're religious. Dang, I, I'm looking for militaristic city states. Uh, South South Africa, building up their own Atal uh, Apollo program. At five happiness. Don't have too much money. See, I just don't. I don't think I have the money really. I should play it as a traditional Russian game. Don't have that many like friends. I guess. I mean, I could get up friendships, but I don't. I don't think I should really get up and go after too many city states. If anything, I should be attacking these smaller, smaller kind of city state sort of things. I don't really. I want the money to be able to sustain a military, not to be you know throwing it at you know whatever city states it is. Okay, let's let's continue to uh, let's continue to build these battleships. You know, I didn't even ask if. If Turkey wanted to be my friend. Wow. Okay, so Turkey is actually going to have a lot of units if we were to go to war with them. They're guarded. Why are you guarded, man? I want to be friends. Okay, so it's premature. It's still kind of early on in the game. Let's ask for an embassy. Let's get an embassy going on first. Let's see if he's going to give me a, uh, a possible open borders agreement. 
No. Oh, man. No way. Okay. Well, people just do not like me, I guess. People are totally not happy. Okay, I guess we'll build the Apollo program, even though I, I'd like to build other things. I'd love a new, another nuclear missile, but uh, just for safety. Well, we don't need it. You know, we, we could. We don't know when someone's going to attack. It'd, it'd be safer if we build the uh, nuclear missile first, I think. Although we have a lot. We already have a lot. Okay, okay, we already have a lot. We already have enough. Never mind. I'll, I'll take that back. We have too much anyways. Uh, yeah, it's fine. We could go for a Riders Guild. I feel like that's kind of a, a big waste of time. An arsenal is, is a good thing. That would be good. Oh, we do need to focus on building bomb shelters too. i got to remember that. Okay, let's go for some jet bombers. I want to use every single piece of, of oil resource that we have. And uh, let's focus on, I'm thinking, land units. Okay, so you're going to heal. Everyone else is going to heal right now. There you go. And uh, heal H. There we go. Hotkey for heals H. So, technically, Poland is afraid. Um, they know that we just took out we just took out the Ukraine. Honestly, Poland would be a great city state to take over. Just just for um, just for ge geography re re uh, reasons, just for proximity for Germany. So I think I might do it. Um, obviously, if I can get a few more battleships here, well, there's a destroyer and there's a submarine. We'll wait on that, but I don't want to wait too much. Poland would be good for Germany, but. Huh, I don't know. Oh, we have our first uh, worker here. I guess we'll build a few. Oh, you know, railroads would be good. But let's get let's increase some production around here. Let's definitely increase some production. I, that's one thing I haven't really t even talked about workers. You know what? We're gonna start to uh, actually maybe gear these artillery units closer in for for Poland. Just 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 to, just to see. Let's just to see. We'll see. It's just such a good city to take, you know what I mean? That placement is so good. Poland and Sweden. Now, I don't think I have too many opportunities to attack city-states. Uh, I guess I don't really... Does does Kazakhstan have anything for me? Not really. They've got oil. but And it does give me access to attack Ar Iran. Um, it would give me access to attack Iran. Mongolia would be... Uh, there's no real reason for me to attack Mongolia. Uh, besides, I guess, easier access... To China, but we're going to attack China he from here anyways. Yeah, no, I don't think so. So I'm trespassing. Trespassing in Poland. Australia. Oh, it's no longer an ally to uh, New Zealand. Sea state connection. Or a sea connection, I mean. Uh, so what do we have? We have India plotting against Indonesia. I always forget that leader's name. David, David Cameron uh, plotting against the Saudis. Now, Saudi Arabia is going to have the most oil in the game. If we can reach down here... That would be really, really good. Because a lot of the units that I like to build personally and around this time period require oil. And uh, if we can get to Saudi territory, oh man, that would be that would be good. That would be really good. You know, I'm actually considering this. I'm actually considering this to join in with Japan. See, everyone else has asked me. It's like they're not going to contribute anything. I'm going to ask them for 10 turns. Give us 10 turns. We can orchestrate an attack on Poland and North Korea technically. The thing is, we have to be careful. See, North Korea doesn't have their little... They they and they start the game off with a nuclear missile. I don't see any sort of uh, unit. I don't see... Well, we should probably spy on North Korea. We probably should. Get, it could give us access to uh, uranium. Because Japan is there, they, that might help. Um, but then again... Well, we asked for 10 turns. We don't necessarily have to... We, we don't need to feel... The obligation that we have to for sure go with Japan. Um, if I can get open borders through China, then I will. That that would make things a lot easier. If not, ah, I don't know. Because the, 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 here's the tough, difficult thing, and this is a really, really th important thing to think about when you're playing this mod, is that everyone has nuclear missiles, and everyone is so close to each other. If you nuke just one tile of someone else's ter territory, you're you're gone. You're going to war. So I can't nuke North Korea technically. I wouldn't be able to nuke these guys um, unless I wanted to go to war with China, which I really, really do not. So that means we'd have to fight through their units, and they do have units. I don't know. I think it would be a mess. I think we'll see how, how Japan is doing. If we can squeeze in and steal it away, we'll try it. But uh, again, without open borders through Chinese territory, I just don't think it's a, a super smart idea. Let's ask for open borders. They're guarded. Um, people are just not going to be friendly towards me. 
Especially not after taking over, I think, uh, the first city state in the game. But anyways, guys, I'm going to have to stop right there. We've got so many different opportunities, but we did just take over the Ukraine, uh, giving us lots of access to much more strategic resources. We might go to war with Poland. Maybe Sweden would be a good idea because Sweden would give us um, more room to, to attack the UK. Um, that actually might be a little bit better. But anyways, guys, I'm going to stop right there. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.